Problem 4.24 or 5.23 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. A piston cylinder device contains 50 kilograms of water at 250 kilopascals and 25 Celsius. The cross-sectional area of the piston is given to be 0.1 meter square. Heat now it's transferred to the water, causing the part, part of the water to evaporate and expand. Then the volume reaches 0.2 meter cubed. The piston reaches a linear spring whose spring constant is equal to 100 kN per meter. More heat is transferred to the water until the piston rises 20 cm more. We need to determine the final pressure and the temperature of the process, the work done during the process, and show the entire process in a PV diagram. The first thing that we need to determine is what is the phase at the initial state of this problem. In order to do that, we're going to compare the values of the pressure and temperatures and find that the state. We go to table A5 and we look at the pressure of 250 kilopascals. And we see that at this particular pressure, the saturated temperature is equal to 127.41 Celsius. The temperature for our problem in this state is 25 Celsius. Since that temperature is lower than the saturated temperature, it indicates that the phase at this, at this state is a compressed liquid. Therefore, to find the specific volume for this state, we're going to go back to table A4 for the temperature of 25 Celsius. So we go to 25 Celsius. And we find that the value for the specific volume is the value of Vf at that particular uh, temperature, which is equal to 0 0.001003 meter cube per kilogram. We're going to use this value so that we could find the initial volume at this particular state. Using the information from the table and the specific volume and the mass, we find the volume at the first state, which is the mass times the specific volume. This is equal to 50 kilograms times 0 0.001003 meter cubed per kilogram, kilogram and kilogram cancels. That means that the initial volume is equal to 0 0.05 meter cubed. For the second state, we know that the volume reaches the final volume at that point is equal to 0.2 meter cubed. And using the assumption that at this point, the pressure remains constant from the initial state. Therefore, pressure 2 is equal to 250 kilopascals. So now in order to find what is the value of the volume at a state 3, what we're going to use is the relationship of how much the um, spring translated. So the volume 3 is simply going to be the volume that you had at point 2 plus the displacement of the spring from point 2 to point 3 times the cross-sectional area of the uh, spring of the uh, piston. This gives us 0.2 meter cubed plus the distance that it translates 0.2 meters times the cross-sectional area 0.1 meter square. If we multiply these two values and add it to this, we find that the final volume at point 3 is 0.22 meter cubed. Using the final volume, we could find out what the specific volume at this state is going to be. It's simply the final volume divided by the mass, and that is going to give us a value of 0 0.0044 meter cubed per kilogram. We next need to find out what is the pressure at this point. In order to do that, we're going to find the relationships using uh, summation of forces or summation of pressures. So we have V3 is basically the pressure that you had at point 2 plus the force that is applied on the spring divided by the area. This is simply pressure 2 plus the spring constant times the displacement divided by the area that we have. We substitute the values over here. This is 250 kilopascals. The value of K is 100 kilonewtons per meter. The value of X, the displacement, is 0.2 meters. 
and the area is 0.1 meter square. This gives us a final pressure of 450 kilopascals. Now what we need to do is find the final temperature. We go to table A5 and we see what are the how the values of the specific volume relate at that pressure. So we go to table A5 for that pressure. So we have 450 kilopascals and we see that the specific volume um, at the fluid is 0 0.001088 and at the uh, vapor is 0 0.41392 and the value of the specific volume that we got is between those two values which indicates that at this point this is a saturated mixture and that gives us that the temperature at that particular point is equal to 147.90 celsius the next step is to calculate the work done during this process. This will be done by showing the PV diagram and calculating the area underneath the curve. If we see, we have the values of the pressure and the volume. The initial value of the pressure and the volume showed that, these, that the phase was a compressed liquid. Then we see that the pressure remained constant while the volume increased. And then we uh, see that both the pressure and the uh, volume increased while remaining as a saturated mixture. The boundary work is simply the summation of the areas under the curve. If we notice we have three distinct geometries and we're going to be able to evaluate the area of each one of them. So let's just start with the red one, it's a rectangle. So the first area we have that the height of the rectangle is simply the pressure, so it's pressure one and the base is the difference between volume 2 and volume 1. If we substitute the values we have that this is 250 kilopascals and the difference between 0.2 minus 0 0.05 uh, meter cubed and this gives us a value of 37.5 and then the units work as kilopascals is simply kilonewtons times meter square times meter cubed. We cancel cube with a square. That gives us kilonewton times meter, which is equal to a kilojoule. So 37.5 kilojoules is the area under the section, the first section. So now if we calculate the area under the second section. So this is going to be basically a rectangle once again. So it's pressure two or pressure one since it's exactly the same. And the difference between the volumes of 0.3 and 0.2. The values are going to be 250 kilopascals and 0.22 minus 0.2 meter cubed and this gives us a value of 5 and we show that the units is equal to kilojoules. We find the third area which is a triangle so the height of it is going to be the difference between pressure 3 pressure 2 divided by 2 times the base and the base is the difference between the volumes 3 and the volumes 2. So this is equal to 450 minus 250 kilopascals divided by 2 and the difference between 0 0.22 minus 0 0.2 um, meter cubed and then this difference is going to give us 2 kilojoules. If we take the addition of the three values under the curve, we find that the total value for the boundary work, it is equal to 44.5 kilojoules. Notice that the value is positive, which means that the work is done by the system. And it also means that it is expanding, as we could also see from, from the PV diagram. 